when it came down to recording, I got to play some rhythm guitar. I've got to sing some backups, which was, again, it was one of those things like, are you sure you want me? You know, not somebody more famous or something like that. So the whole thing has been an honor. The honor that Nanaimo musician Ryan McMahon refers to comes from helping Megan McNeil perfect her song. What's it like to have your life change in a moment? What's it like to have it all taken away? If you listened closely to the lyrics of Megan's first verse, you already know a bit about her. Megan is fighting cancer, adrenocortical carcinoma to be precise, and she has written a song to share hope and inspiration with other children and teens struggling for life. Uh, there's a lot of stories that I can think of off the top of my head of kids who I've seen battling this. I've gotten very close to some of them and I've lost quite a few of them and this is another reason why I'm inspired to get this song out there because I don't want to see any dogs. more people pass away that I've gotten very close to. A bedside recording of Megan's song, The Will to Survive, found its way to famous music producer Garth Richardson who took the song on and helped Megan and Ryan record it. Um, excuse me? <laughs> Garth wants to take my song on? like. He's epic. <laughs> uh, obviously, he's got a, a track record that speaks for itself. The, the Rage Against the Machine, Chili Peppers, Chevelle, all of that stuff. There are lots of musicians, great talented artists that are, that are struggling to make it in the music industry and when a song actually makes it to this level it's because the stars do align. The whole experience has been completely surreal. I mean, me going from graduating high school and recording a song during it, like my friends were honestly like, you're in Garth Richardson's studio? Like, it's just like, and recording a music video for it, I mean, it just feels like a dream, really. Sitting in the doctor's chair, processing the information, not understanding how this could happen to me going from. Well, I just hope that it brings awareness because childhood cancer is so far behind on the advancements that they're making with adult cancers. And it's a very good cause, and I'm really hoping that it brings the word out and that people start donating or sending the song out and that it gets awareness and that it's making changes. This whole project, Megan, has just been an inspiration. She's come into the studio at different points during her uh, battle with cancer, and throughout it all she's kept an uplifting spirit. She came in to do all of her vocals when she was you know not in the best of health but she plowed through it and then again she's uh, battling cancer for the fourth time and she came right back in to do the video with all the energy of anybody who would be doing it for a career. In the music industry especially, there's, there's a lot of acquaintances, but there's not a lot of friends. So, I count myself lucky. I'm actually getting amazing feedback, which is very, very positive for me to be hearing such great things about it. And, um, I really like how it's kind of generic. I hear 80-year-olds saying that they love it, and I hear 12-year-olds and 13-year-olds saying that they love it. And so I hope that it continues to grow, because there aren't a lot of songs out there that have to do with cancer awareness. We've got the will to survive.
handles herself so well with all of this. There, there couldn't be a better spokesperson for this entire project, and I'm just, I'm proud of her.